Hello and welcome back. This is episode number six on creative teaching for all the English teachers who love to teach English grammar through creative ways. I have come up with another activity today. So this activity focuses on use of a and some any before singular, plural, countable and uncountable noun. All you can do or need to do is this. You have to divide the class into groups or you can divide the entire class into two groups. Make enough copies of the pictures. For example, you can see on the screen. Make copies of uh, pictures like this or you can make enough copies of a list of five items in a picture in a copy randomly distribute these copies among one group of children let another group of children have more copies but they may not or not necessarily they should have the same pictures in their copies but we must really give both the copies to both the groups randomly after this is done one has to buy and another has to sell so make a group one group has to sell another group has to buy children have to ask questions children have to inquire the other group whoever wants to buy buyers must ask the sellers whether they have a particular item with them with the item which is there in their list so that is a list of the things that they have to buy. For example, buyers may ask, do you have any apples? Do you have some potatoes? Do you have shoes, a pair of shoes? So they have to ask questions in that particular way. The seller may say, yes, I have, or I'm sorry, I don't have but they have to make enough purchase until they make enough purchase they have to go on buying this is free you know they can buy as much as they can they they want so there is no restriction or limitation here the only limitation the children may find is that they may not be able to frame or construct sentences to ask or to buy so you can you can do it after four or five minutes, teachers can go around and ask, what did the children buy? So they can ask them, what did you buy? How much did you buy? What are the things did you buy? So children have to answer. Children have to answer back in a sentence, not just the name of the items. For example, they must say, I bought carrots. I bought apples, I bought a cap. So they have to make a sentence, not just pencil, cap, book, um, an umbrella, nothing like that. So they have to write or answer, sorry, spoken, not written, it is spoken. So they have to speak out the answer to the teacher who really came over there to ask or inquire about their purchase. So this activity may be fun. So at the end, you can see whoever bought or sold more can be called forward to read out what are the things they, they purchased or to read out what are the things they sold. So this may help them to construct sentences, mobilize and come together, participate in an activity so that they will be able to open up their mind open up their mouth to speak something. So this will make them feel comfortable because you are giving them the list of the items which are quite familiar to them, which they love buying or selling. So this activity doesn't focus on buying or selling, rather it focuses on constructing sentences or speaking in the classroom. So you can start off with an example as a teacher yourself. So 
the list of the items may be just like that pencil carrots potatoes book pen so bananas cap umbrella plates so bread whatever for example a coat or a shirt juice television shoes so you can have the items quite familiar or lovable by children you can give or make a list of these things give at least five items to a to a children to a child sorry to a child so that you can have enough copies and distribute enough copies among them one has to buy another has to sell while doing this they can improve their conversation this can be done easily in the classroom the materials the required the list of items and enough photocopies to distribute among the children i hope you loved the activity you can comment whether you like it or not any changes that has to be made any teacher can do it with his or her interest manipulating these activities to suit their purpose in the classrooms enjoy doing this activity see you